Welcome to another Gem of Wisdom from Archangel Michael. My name is Randall Monk, and I'm here with Rana Vazane. Hello, everyone. Nice to be with you again. We miss you. Yes, we do. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and we will. <laughs> and we will, yes. <laughs> just to preface, because there are a lot of people just beginning to uh, awaken or beginning to seek higher wisdom, and so uh, there, it's confusing because the information that we give you is advanced information. But over the years, remember, uh, I have been uh, receiving and putting out messages from Archangel Michael since February of 1992. And so there are 16 books of uh, 16 books and a lot of e-booklets uh, with a lot of information, beginning starting from the beginning and going through. The stage we're in now, and so as the gift, we have we have been very diligent in getting the information out. Randy narrates the monthly messages, and they're there for you to read and access free of charge. And also uh, now on YouTube, just YouTube, just Google uh, Starquest Mastery or Rana Bazain on YouTube and. All of the books are narrated there from one and a lot of a lot of explanations. So if you're serious about studying and you want to know, then it's all there. But yes, we we go in phases. Sometimes we give uh, some of the newer information, but mostly it's the advanced information because our following is very large and you've been with us a long time. And so we're giving you part of it, but you've got to do the work too. The sacred white cosmic fire adamantine particles that you magnetize to you as an awakened self-master must continually circulate. Only a certain amount of that which is appropriate for each soul to integrate at their current level of enlightenment can be stored within the physical vessel. And so see, that's part of it. That's part of the stages. That's what ascension is about. It is becoming self-aware and gradually lifting your frequency, and balancing and harmonizing the chakra system, activating that rod of power. And it isn't just exercises, it is a process that then allows you to tap into the higher cosmic information, which is, which is what this lesson is. It is very advanced, but it is a wonderful gift. And if you just listen to the essence of it, even if you're a beginner, you can say, how wonderful. I want that. How do I get it? And then maybe you'll begin to seek. And so as you balance and harmonize, we talk about opening, opening the seven seals of higher consciousness, coming into harmony with these uh, balancing 51% of your, your karmic past and opening your heart center so you can begin to create or extend that rod of power and go up and begin to tap into the adamantine particles. Remember, humanity in the lower, in the third dimension and the lower fourth, the first, second, and third um, levels of the fourth dimension, you are accessing primal life force substance, which is half spectrum light. What you're doing as you move through those levels you are gradually beginning to bring down more of your soul consciousness. It's in the memory seed atoms, and that's the process too. Why do you think the infinity breath and the different techniques, early techniques that we give you? It's to clear the distortions, to allow you to begin to bring in the higher wisdom. Your soul self only sends down, we've talked about this, only sends down a few memory seed atoms. So they're, they're programmed, they're time. They're either time activated or event activated. So when you get to that point where you are heart centered and you've opened your sacred mind and and it begins to work with your sacred your sacred heart and your sacred mind, then you're tapping into the adamantine particles. And so you're getting them from the root chakra, that storehouse there, but you're also getting them from your higher self, your sacred triad. 
begins that trickle-down effect, which then moves into your soul star, which then activates the next level, which then comes goes all through your body. So you're beginning to be filled with these little sparks of divinity that begin to change everything, to begin to balance and harmonize your physical vessel and your, your auric field begins to harmonize. In the past, our auric field, our light body, it was perfect. But gradually it became distorted and contaminated until it contaminated more and more and more of our physical vessel. That process is reversed. It's coming in now. It's beginning to change. like we see the chakras, chakra system begins to affect the organs of the glands and your auric field begins to change too. And Michael said, "How could you can't give away what you don't have. So the first rule is you must begin to love yourself. It's not selfish. It's a divine gift. It's a divine part of who we are. So that's why you're trying to clear all of this distortion so you can begin to accept all the positive things. You know, we have so many gifts and so many talents, uh, attributes and qualities, but they're like gifts that are wrapped. We have to unopen them. We have to activate them. We have to begin to use them, and we have to uh, uh, con uh, perfect those over time. But there comes a time when now you're beginning, you're beginning to bring in more of it. You're you're self-aware. You're beginning to get uh, more more help from your, the first. Really, the first teachings or the first help you get is usually from in your own sacred mind, and your oversoul self begins to tap in there, and you begin to get the little nudgings. But that comes a time when that flow begins. And it says you're always to take what you need first. You can't give away what you don't have. There is there is an article, one a message, the virtue of selfishness. Selfishness, ah, bad word. Not really. If it's used with the heart and the soul and not the ego. And so once you become heart-centered and soul, soul inspired. You are going to begin to think of I, we, instead of me, my. And so there comes a time, just like a child, we feed them, we clothe them, we take care of them, we nurture them. But then there comes a time, and, it, and if you're smart and you're good parents, you're going to make them responsible. You're not going to do everything for them so that you, they do not know, learn how to be a responsible adult. Well, we learn how, to, we need to know how to be responsible spiritual adults too. And so after we take all that we need and we fill ourselves and then, you know, we talk about breathing out through your, your flower of life, breathing that out into the world's of a pyramid, we are supposed to begin at a certain time, whatever time, there, I, I, there's no, no limit, but I mean, the sooner the better and the sooner the quicker. But the sooner the quicker, the, then things will begin to change. Because once you begin that flow and begin to radiate it outward, then you're sharing. They said there must be an abundance exchange for everything. <clears throat> and we're not talking about money. In this case, we're talking about love and compassion and generosity and nurturing. And so you learn as you, you go through the process of filling yourself with it, you have to give it away. It's so the love is so full and it's 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 so powerful. You have to radiate it out. And the more you give, the more you want to give because you see when you look at people's eyes, when you smile at them, when you compliment them, when you do something gracious or just benevolent, everything begins to change. And so that's one of the most empowering parts of claiming your divinity. We have been given everything, all the programming, everything is there. We just have to accept it, make it ours, and use it. And if you want your life to turn to, and when we talk about abundance, that's abundance of love, abundance of good health, abundance of joy. It, it, it's, it's everything, abundance and everything, serenity, creativity, all of it. So it's there. But you've got a lot of, a lot, of, one of the big things is people become spiritually bloated. They, they read and they have all this knowledge in them and they have all this energy there that wants to come out and our body suffers for it. 
So think about this. Where are you on that path of repaying or sharing the gifts that you've been given? That's the greatest thing we can do for humanity and the earth right now. Everything's in desperate need of that divine light. And you know what? That energy has to come through us. That's why they call we're called transformers, transducers, lightning rods. So think about it. If you don't like the world or the situation, focus on what is right, positive, and just keep sending out that love. Your life, your life. People ask, how do I know where I'm on the ascension path? First of all, the people that you draw to you. And secondly, the circumstances around you. Nobody's perfect and everybody's still gonna be working on something or we wouldn't be here. But it does get better, it gets magical, it gets harmonious, and you solve, resolve more and more and more of that negativity out and around you. And your tests even become more centered, more close here as you resolve and change your hologram, your personal hologram, your personal reality of life. It's magical, it works. And that's why we're here, to help you to discover that magical gift that is all our divine birthright. Thank you, Rana. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Rana used the term adamantine particles. Uh, briefly, adamantine part particles are unmanifested potential and they are activated with our sacred love, our unconditional love. That's all for this video. Much love and many blessings from our heart to yours. We love you. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye now.